Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Smita. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about non-technical roles within AI and machine learning. We often focus on highly technical roles such as machine learning engineering positions or data scientist positions, but there exists a tremendous amount of non-technical roles within AI and machine learning as well. So if you're someone who is interested in roles which are highly non-technical, you're not interested in writing machine learning code, but you're really passionate about working within machine learning and AI, then this video is definitely for you because I'm going to be talking about all the non-technical roles within AI and machine learning. When a software product is actually being built or even within a software company, there's more to it than just software engineers. There's people who are making business decisions, there's people who are making legal decisions, financial decisions, uh, there's product support. So all of these are also key players to make the product actually exist and to make it run well. So this is also true for when it comes to AI products or machine learning based services. We also require this entire ecosystem of different roles, which are extremely important. So to understand the different types of non-technical roles within AI and machine learning, we have to look at the machine learning and AI product life cycle. Now this actually slightly differs from a software development life cycle, hence we have very different non-technical roles available. So this AI and ML product life cycle that I've created actually involves the different types of roles and the different types of people which are involved when an AI product is actually being made. So as you guys can see, there's actually nine different, uh, very important roles involved. And I'm going to talk about each one of them so we can get a better understanding of uh, what each person actually does and what their roles actually entail. So the AI and ML product lifecycle actually starts off with an AI and ML business development expert. Now this business development expert is someone who is able to identify the importance of something like machine learning when it comes to tech products or when it comes to software based products. They are also able to effectively identify a use case for machine learning in their existing products or for brand new products for the company. And they're also able to communicate this to business leaders. This person is extremely important when it comes to formulating ideas and use cases for machine learning and AI. They don't need to have uh, knowledge in machine learning coding, or they don't even need to know how machine learning algorithms work, but they should be able to understand some basic machine learning concepts and they should be able to communicate them. So let's actually take a look at a potential AI and ML business development expert job role. So a job description for this at Nokia. So for this case, uh, it's someone who requires 10 plus experience of uh, in technology management and architecture, a thought leader in machine learning and artificial intelligence business development. So as I mentioned, this is extremely important. So they are also someone who has a demonstrated ability to drive, influence and implement new product ideas. So ideas are a really key part of what this AI and ML business development expert actually works with. So they are formulating new ideas for use cases for machine learning within new products or existing products. So this is actually how this entire process starts out. The next person in line in this AI and ML product life cycle is the AI and ML product manager. Now, arguably the product manager is one of the most important figures in this entire process because they are the ones who take this very highly business idea from the business development expert and they're able to fill in the technical blanks and they're also able to understand if this idea is actually technologically feasible or not by their machine learning engineers. So they also kind of manage the machine learning engineers and they're able to understand the tech behind it. The product manager is also the person who is responsible for the why, when, and what of the product and also of the feature which is being built. So this person is very important for this whole process. Next up, we have the AI and ML managers. Now, this is also a very important role. The AI and ML manager is actually someone who lays the framework for both the machine learning and engineering aspects of the project. So this person is someone who is communicating between the product managers and also the machine learning engineers and data scientists or data managers who are involved. So they lay the frameworks which are important for the machine learning engineers and also the type of different data rules or the rules involved when collecting different types of data if the project requires that 
they lay these rules for the data scientists or data managers. So this is also a very important role. At number four, we have data collection and management. Now, as the name suggests, data collection involves identifying the different types of data which is required. You know, what type of data is actually important for this project to work and also collecting them from uh, feasible sources, from viable sources. So that is the entire job of a data collector. Now, a data manager, on the other hand, is someone who actually creates database systems and who actually manages how the data is being stored. They actually manage this entire database uh, management systems and also they ensure that data is being stored in a safe way. So data engineers are people who look at the data which exists, which the data management system has collected, and they're able to identify what kind of gaps actually exist and how to figure out how to fill, fill those gaps or how to find different solutions if there is a huge gap in data. So there are also people who work with pre-processing the data to ensure that it is in working conditions for the machine learning engineers to work with and put directly into production. Next, we have machine learning engineers, which we have talked about a lot on this channel. So this is a highly technical role. So what this actually involves is building uh, models, deploying models. Machine learning engineer will identify four to five different types of models which are required based on complexity for the, for the type of problem and for the type of data which is provided. Now, ML Ops is actually the role which actually helps to ensure that the machine learning engineer's job is being done without any problems. So when it comes to machine learning, only a small percentage of that machine learning system is actually composed of ML code. So as you guys can see in this image, there is so much more involved and machine learning code is just a small aspect of that. So ML Ops is someone who deals with, you know, model analysis, resource management, process management, metadata management, uh, serving infrastructure, monitoring, testing and debugging. So these type of things are what the ML Ops actually deals with. So they ensure that they have a working system which enables their machine learning engineers to do their job well. The next role is the AI and ML sales team. The sales team actually ensures that the product is marketable and sells it in a profitable way. So this is a very important aspect of this entire AI and ML product lifecycle. So the sales team are people who are able to identify business opportunities by doing market research and identifying the correct prospects. So they are able to sell uh, these AI and machine learning based products by establishing contact with clients or senior management and they do pitching and selling of products. They prepare reports by collecting and analyzing uh, the type of sales data which is in, in involved. So this is a very important aspect and it's definitely a key because this is how the whole company is able to remain profitable. So at the end of the AI and ML product lifecycle, we have the AI and ML product support team. Now, this is arguably a very important team because they actually ensure that they are giving support to the people who have actually uh, bought your product or service. If there is simple debugging which is required, these people are able to step in and do that. So a product support team should know how you know the product actually works and how it runs. So they are able to be answerable to the consumers if there is any problem which arises. So guys, as you can see from this AI and ML product lifecycle that I've created, there is a tremendous amount of roles which exist, which are non-technical within AI and machine learning. In fact, data scientists and machine learning engineering roles, which are technical, are a small percentage of what AI and machine learning products are actually going to be about. So there's a lot of opportunities for non-technical people as well. So let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below and see you in my next video. Thank you.